Hey everyone, hope you're all well. Yeah, here I am at Haysborough, my second visit of the week. I tried to do a vlog um, earlier in the week, but we still had the last sort of bit of Storm Kiara or Kiara or whatever you say it was coming through and the um, audio was a little bit difficult, but I've got some shots to show from, um, from last week, especially some nice sand pattern shots that um, really worked quite nicely. But for the moment, I've, um, I'm just occupied with taking sort of, sort of long exposure stuff. I got here quite early. It was a nice, nice bit of color, nice sort of shots of the lighthouse, which hopefully you'll see in a minute. Um, and now I'm just exploring the beach before the tide gets a little bit too high. I'm enjoying shooting some of this wonderful colours and, and shapes and forms and all sorts of surfaces in all the cliff fall. I mean, there's been some horrendous amount of cliff fall since I last visited Haysborough. It's always a fascinating place to visit, always something to see, always something to photograph. So yeah, join me as I have a little wander around this wonderful place. And um, yeah, yeah, let's get on with it. Well, I don't think the patterns or the sand patterns were quite as exciting as they were the other day. They really, really, I, I could have spent hours just shooting them, apart from the fact that it was getting dark, so that would have been particularly stupid. But even the patterns here today are rather pleasing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plonk the old 135 on in a minute. Sorry, I'm going to be able to see me now, you lucky people. Um, yeah, going to get the 135 and going to go through some of these lovely patterns here. There's some beautiful sort of like, almost like oily deposits within the sand. They look really, really good. And then I'm just going to keep scooting along the cliffs here and just try and take some abstracts of all the cliff fall. Beautiful oranges, beautiful shades, as I mentioned earlier. So I'm just going to have a go at them. But I'll put some of these up as I, um, as I speak so you can see what I'm up to. Yeah, lovely. Easily pleased. No spectacular light today. Very, very muted. Lovely day, though. No one on the beach at the moment, which is amazing for Hayes, but there's normally a good few, um, good few dog walkers. But yeah, anyway, I'll put these lovely abstracts up if I can get up. It's a lovely morning, really nice subtle morning, subtle light, nice for abstracts, probably do some nice long exposure stuff on the sea. I did some earlier when I first got here and I might do some more now, it looks absolutely beautiful. But the, um, yeah, shooting the sand patterns was a really nice exercise. Um, I was using the 135 as I probably mentioned, setting focus increments using the old focus shift setting, really, really a, a lovely feature of the Nikon, as long as you set those increments right, which I think I've mentioned many times before. But yeah, and you've got to look at those sand patterns and those small abstracts as mini landscapes. So like when we set up a normal, you know, wide vista landscape where you want your foreground, your midground, a little bit of interest throughout the frame, you've got to sort of give your abstracts that same sort of, same sort of attention that you would to a, you know, to a regular wide vista shot. Vista shot. But this is lovely. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have a little go at some 10 stop stuff on the sea because there's a beautiful bit of blue sky behind there, a nice shape in the cloud that might look quite graphic. And then I'll just keep moving along and hopefully I can work here for a little while before the, um, before the sea comes in too far. But lovely morning and again, very surprising. Hardly anyone about, there's usually quite a few dog walkers here. Okay, here we go then, let's get on. Oh, wow guys, it's getting quite mild now, really mild. Beautiful, beautiful day. Um, I've really, really enjoyed taking some 10, not 10 stop, no, I haven't been using 10 stop, I've been using my beloved 6 stop, which is just wonderful. Wonderful, versatile filter, love it. And it's also great for film and video when it gets really, really sunny like this, you can just pop the 6 stop on and that will um, mean you can control those, control those very, very bright areas. But this has been great. Whether I'll be able to film anymore, I don't know. A lot of people about, don't want to keep getting stopped and going, oh, what are you doing? But, um, 
that's just lovely. So I've been doing some some more abstracts here of all the lovely cliffs and the cliff fall and all the wonderful shapes and textures, etc. And I'm just going to move on and see what else I can do. If not, it might be time to head home and have a cup of coffee. But this has been a brilliant morning at Haysborough. Yeah, I'm loving it. Really loving it. Glad I got up now. Well, it goes without saying, I'm going to have a go here. Look at these wonderful colours. Going to plonk the 135 on, because you don't want to be standing under these, these cliffs for too long. They're very, very crumbly. So 135, let's try a few abstracts. Yeah, love it. Well, it's got so bright now that I can't even use the six stopper. And I love my old six stopper, but I've had to reach for the 10 stopper. And I'm using these lovely outcrops of the lovely clay deposits here and just doing some long exposure stuff. And it's just quite graphic. Really enjoyed myself taking the pictures of the um, of that lovely wall there where there's been a huge collapse and the lovely strata is showing through. Absolutely fantastic. And now these just nice little ones to sort of keep me occupied for five or 10 minutes. And then I think I will then climb the cliff at the other end and head back. Maybe even do a little, a little daylight, because the nice wispy clouds, a nice daylight type shot of the um, lighthouse would be rather nice. And that would be a good day, a really, really good morning. Really enjoyed it out here. So I'll have a couple more minutes here and put those up or put them up while I'm talking and, and then move on. Gorgeous. When we're scouting out a location or scouting out a little area that you think you might be might be a good idea for a photograph or a good place for a photograph, you sometimes get a little surprise. Now here, I just like the I just like the views, looking through these two lovely outcrops and with the um with the water coming in, with the waves coming in, and it looks really nice. But one of the bonuses of this image is, was the shadow. Now, obviously, I wasn't taking this in at the time. wasn't I was just interested in getting the movement of the waves. These I thought there'd be a nice ten stop. But this outcrop here is casting a beautiful shadow on the waves when they come in, and it really looks quite effective. So I'm really, really pleased with this. And it was nothing I saw, you know, when I was setting up. It was just something I saw afterwards. So that's a bonus. Yeah, God, I got my wellies on. Yeah, great morning. <laughs> well, I think that's it for me, guys. What a lovely, lovely morning. Oh, that sun's bright. It's quite mild now. But gorgeous morning. I have had a whale of a time here this morning. I um, had a lovely, lovely evening, you know, a few days ago, but just didn't work for the vlog. So a little bit of combo of both will be nice, but it'll be mostly from this morning because it's been just great. So I've got to head all the way back to the, um, to the lighthouse. All the way. It's five minutes. That's where the car is, and then I'm going home for much needed coffee and digestive today. The biscuit of choice. Lovely, lovely. All a bit, you know, a little bit bland now, but it's still gorgeous. Can't complain, honestly. So I'm going. Thanks ever so much for joining me. I don't say this often, but if you've enjoyed the video and you like being in my photographic company online, blah, blah, blah. Sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? Please subsid, uh, subsid, subsid subscribing or consider subscribing one of those two but if you consider subscribing that would be much better thanks for watching guys i'm obviously getting a little bit tired <laughs> yeah you look after yourselves all right and i hope to see you soon bye for now